everybody welcome to homestead heart and today is already hot out here <laughs> it's already hot out here this morning but i am about to go and harvest my favorite squash i'm about to go and harvest some cushion yes i am now y'all hmm I almost thought we weren't going to get any kush y'all because we planted it so like super late. We were so late planting this kush y'all. This is the end of July. I want to say we started this kush y'all in May when it should have been started back in like late March. <laughs> we started it in May, but wait till you see what i'm about to harvest again i love my hat homestead heart i love this hat and the beautiful person that made it for me made me an apron and she also made me some little arm sleeves to keep the bugs from biting me because y'all know how i am about the bugs the apron i will never wear outside the apron is too beautiful i will wear it inside when i'm doing something inside but i would never that that apron would never see the guard it's just too pretty it looks just like this <laughs> And it's my favorite, pink camo. Pink and purple camo is my favorite. And look at that. I love it, right? And like I said, I was waiting all year to wear this hat. <laughs> so, you all, I'm about to get started with harvesting some kushaw. It's already getting hot out here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this kushaw and take it inside. Because this heat is brutal. All right? Let's go ahead and get to it. I'm very happy about it. Hey, buddy. Hello, buddy. Where you been? Where you been? Where's your brother? Where's your brother? So, you all, say hi, Grizzly. What's this on you? You wouldn't have felt him anyway. See you later. You gonna leave me? Just gonna walk away from the camera, look just like that. Guess he got a job to do. <laughs> but anyway you all this is the harvest of the kushaw right here and i'm very very happy about it okay now i know my mama and my aunt and my great aunt mary and man they're gonna be so happy to get their hands on some of these babies right here yeah if you're not familiar this is called kushaw and it is in the squash family okay now many of you have heard me tell this kushaw story before come close feel like i'm yelling come on close to many of you have heard me talk about kushaw from probably the beginning, since we've been on the homestead, right? And just to give you a quick backstory, just in case some of you are new to the channel and you haven't seen 
that video. Kitty, stop it. If you haven't seen that video. Okay. <laughs> um, Kushaw is something that I grew up eating um, as a, a child, right? And um, my big mama and my great aunt Mary, who I talk about quite a bit, right? She, well, they used to live right across the road from an old man farmer named Mr. Tanker. And Mr. Tanker used to grow some of everything, right? And one of the things that he used to grow was the Kushaw. And he used to bring these babies to my big mama and my dear. And um, they would cook these babies up in the skillet. And this was one of my favorite foods that they ever cooked for me when I was a child. I just loved this. And Mr. Tanker was the last person in our area, even when cars and trucks were like, they ruled the day. <laughs> you know, once people started getting automobiles in that little area, he kept his old mule and his old buggy. I don't think Mr. Tanker ever bought a car up until the day he died. I don't know if he ever bought a car, but if he did, I don't recall seeing it. But anyway... Mr. Tanker used to bring these, and as a little girl, I used to get so excited to see him coming when he had these Kushaw on his buggy, right? I used to get so excited to see Mr. Tanker coming with these Kushaw, and I used to be even more excited when they cooked them <laughs> on Sunday, right? For Sunday dinner to go with some other things that they had cooked, right? So you all... These are some beautiful, beautiful Kushaw. I will be saving the seeds from these Kushaw and keeping them. And I realized that our seed has done phenomenal on the homestead. Yes. So this is the harvest this year for the Kushaw. Some of it I'll probably uh, freeze, some of it I'll can, um, just so that you know I can have it on the shelf until the next time, the next time I grow it, right? But y'all, I'm telling you, this stuff right here is some good eating. And there's nothing in my opinion that comes close to the flavor of Kushaw. If you've never grown it before, listen, you can harvest it at different stages, right? You can harvest it when they're smaller, like this, okay? Still ready. You know it's done. You can tap on it. It sounds kind of hollow on the inside, right? You can tell when it's ready, right? So you can harvest them. They'll get to about this size or sometimes they'll grow. And uh, they can get even bigger, right? This is not the largest one I've ever grown right here. It's not the biggest that I've ever grown. But y'all, they get pretty big. Yes, they get pretty big. And to all of the viewers who purchase Kushaw seeds from us on our seed store, ahomesteadheart.com is our seed store. Um, a, the letter A, homesteadheart.com is our seed store. So to everybody that purchased Kushaw seeds from us, I hope your, your seeds are doing just as well as ours have done this growing season as well. I hope you have enjoyed cooking Kushaw. Mrs. H, how do you cook it? It's so easy to cook. The toughest part about this is cutting it. <laughs> but it's a very easy squash to cook. You cut it into cubes and I'll do a video. I should have did one last year, but I didn't get around to it. But you cut it into cubes and you'll cook it until it's tender and make sure that there's no water left in it when you drain it and you season it up real good with some honey. I mean, not honey, with some, uh, well, you can use honey. With some honey or sugar, butter, cinnamon, nutmeg, you know. Season it up real good. Some people make kushaw pies out of them, right? And kushaw pies are good, but I just like eating just straight kushaw. No crust, just like this. <laughs> so y'all, I hope that you all have had an amazing 
garden season for the spring and summer. I know these temperatures have been ridiculously hot. And I mean ridiculously hot. I know. In fact, I'm going to tell you all, and I'm then I'll end this video because I don't want to leave this part out. But I said that we planted it late, right? But you all, we had some wood chips that we brought out, had brought out um, maybe three years ago. And they just kept breaking down and kept breaking down and kept breaking down. And they just were sitting there. And so what we decided to do was just pull the top layer back and pop some seeds in. And that's exactly, that's exactly what we did. I didn't fertilize them at all. I didn't add any fertilizer. I didn't even water these kushal. They were watered when it rained. I didn't even water them because the mulch was so thick and so heavy that I'm sure it retained quite a bit of moisture for the root system to be able to pull from. And so we didn't even water them. They, they want, I mean, you know, when God decided to water the planet, that's when these babies got some water, but we didn't even water them. And as you can see, we still got a pretty good harvest from our cushion. So we didn't fertilize, we didn't water, we pulled the soil back, dropped in the seeds, and God did the rest, okay? So that's what we did. Now, if you do wanna grow cushion and you're interested in growing the seeds, then the way I normally would do it is I would um, plant them in my garden and fertilize the hole with a little uh, blood and bone meal. And I would make sure to water them um, as needed, especially once the temperatures got really hot, I would go ahead and water them, right? But we didn't do that this time. We just kind of let them go. Is that on? Oh, he on my head. Okay. <laughs> so you all, that's going to do it for this video. Again, if you planted Kushal, I hope your Kushal are doing very, very well, you all. And please remember, if you are growing them, please save the seeds. You get a ton of seeds from one squash, okay? So please save the seeds and keep them. And that way you'll have them to grow your kush off for years to come, okay? All right, y'all, that's gonna do it. If you like the video, like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos we upload to our channels. Please post in the comment section below if you plan a kushaw. Let everybody know how your kushaw was doing and let everybody know how you prepare yours. We would all love to know. Thank you for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. And remember y'all, Ooh, it's too heavy for one hand. <laughs> Grow your groceries. <laughs>